welcome back to my channel and flight music if you're new here my name is ian we are continuing our emulation plugin series with obsession from synapse audio recently i've been covering different coloration plugins and hardware emulations most of those were effects right now i'm going over an instrument plugin that's emulating hardware as well this particular emulation is emulating the obxa which is a vintage synthesizer made by oberheim this won't be a very in-depth tutorial, but I definitely want to go over some features and to let you hear the sound so you sort of get the vibe of what a hardware emulation plugin is doing versus just a basic synth. Starting at the top left, I should point out that you can resize this. Right now it's on small. Let's leave it on medium. But the very first thing that I want to point out in terms of hardware emulation and getting that vintage feel, let's take a look at the backside of this plugin. So here in the global section, you'll see a VCA saturation and a limiter. And next to that, you see this organic knob. Let's go ahead and crank the organic knob and listen to how it changes the sound. So overall, with the organic knob by itself, I'm not really hearing much of a difference, but as soon as you turn on the VCA saturation, you definitely start hearing the organic feel. Sort of get a sense of more harmonics and more randomization in the frequencies. Let's turn on the limiter. So yeah, that limiter definitely evens out the top frequencies. You could so there's less fluctuation in volume on those top frequencies. But now let's go back to the front page and listen to the filter. And if you've seen my previous sound design tutorials, you know that I focus a lot on how good the filters sound in terms of getting the warmth and the vibes that usually are associated with analog synths. So right now the filter is shut all the way down. So we're gonna open it up and you're actually gonna hear the sound get brighter. So you might be wondering, well, where's the low pass filter? Well, all we have to do is just change the envelope, turn all these envelopes down. And then turn the envelope amount down as well. Pretty silky sounding filter, I love it. Other than that, I just wanna let you know that there is an A and a B side, and you can mix in between those two. And in addition to that, you have this voice adjustment edit. So you have up to eight voices right here. You could actually switch it to 16, and each of those voices are able to be edited individually. So if you go and click on any of these voice adjustment edits, you'll bring up a new screen that allows you to edit each of these individual parameters for each of these voices. So you can imagine there's a lot of tweakability in terms of getting an original sound. Besides that, the other thing that makes this plugin stand out to me are actually the effects. Specifically this reverb, this shimmer knob adds a whole lot of character and texture to this reverb. <laughs> It sounds exactly like its name, Shimmer. It just adds this shimmer, this glossiness over the high frequencies of the reverb. It sounds amazing. I know Valhalla actually makes a shimmer reverb themselves. I'm probably gonna have to pick it up because it's a shame that I only have this available inside of Obsession right now. I'm curious if Synapse would consider doing a shimmer reverb themselves that's separate from the plugin. But let's go ahead and take a listen to just these stock presets right here. Thank you. 
You can definitely hear the shimmer on this one. Like and subscribe if you want to see more future videos. I definitely plan on doing a sound design tutorial series and I will be including Obsession in that. So definitely stay tuned and until then keep making music. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.